It's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. Welcome to another edition of Q&A with Coach. Quick shout out to my channel sponsor, NogiBJJGear.com. Go check them out for shorts, spats, rash guards, and other awesome training equipment. Don't forget to use my code RAMSEY10 for a 10% discount off everything. Now, on with the question. Our friend Christoph sends in this. Do you think that cycling is a better alternative for running? considering that running causes a lot of joint problems. Well, Christoph, cycling is better for cycling. Running is better for running. Hmm. I made a video about three years ago, the cardio myth. And I referenced that video fairly recently, and a lot of people got very confused by that. Well, it's the cardio myth. And the cardio myth is this idea that you can experience muscular adaptation for a specific activity like running or cycling or swimming, and then that will have a 100% crossover to a completely different activity that requires a completely different muscular adaptation, such as fighting. Yeah, man. Now, I'm not telling you don't run, don't bike, don't swim, don't do any of those things if you are a fighter. Nah. Everything that makes you a better athlete makes you a better fighter. So do everything you can to make yourself a better athlete. If that means running, biking, swimming, lifting weights, jumping around, great. Do all that stuff. That being said, the cardio myth once again, is this idea that if I do a bunch of distance running, that that is magically going to give me the same or even the optimal muscular adaptation to activities that have absolutely nothing to do with distance running. Also, the second part of the cardio myth is mental. Yeah, it's mental. A big part of it is physical, sure. Because if your muscles, if your body has not adapted to a specific activity, it's going to be pretty hard to do that activity. The other day I did something I don't often do. I spent most of the day not training. I trained a little bit. But I spent most of the day working on video editing. Had a bunch of projects to work on. And so I didn't train as much as I usually do. So there was a lot of sitting and, you know, working on a computer, working on a phone. And not as much getting up and moving. And afterwards, I felt like crap. Ooh, I felt like garbage. And... I went to the gym the next day and I felt like, man, I really have to work out the knots here. Oh, got to knock off the rust. Got to clear out the lungs. This was terrible. But then I thought, well, hold on. This must be how people who don't train feel all the time. And you might be thinking, if you're a sedentary individual who doesn't train, sits on the couch, watches TV all the time, works an office job, never gets up and goes on a walk, you might think, well, I feel fine, I feel normal. Yeah, but if you went to a gym and you jumped around and you sparred and you hit a bag and you did a bunch of burpees and stuff, you'd probably feel like crap. And your body would probably give out sooner than later. And you'd be gasping for breath. <gasps> I'm drowning here, help. Ugh. You might throw up, I've seen that many, many times from sedentary individuals who try to go from zero to 60 instantly and it's didn't work out in their favor. You gotta, gotta work up to it. So I felt like garbage. I felt like garbage the other day and I got back in the gym and I moved and I felt good. And when I move around on the regular, when I train on the regular, when I'm doing my, my two-a-days, my three-a-days, etc., when I'm lifting, when I'm 
hitting the bag when I'm doing all this stuff that I usually do when I'm in my routine. It feels good. And when I spar, I don't get tired. When I train, I don't get tired. I don't gas out. I don't. And a lot of people look at me and they're like, whoa, you have really good cardio, man. You got really good cardio. That's a weird way to term it. I, I have really good muscular adaptation to the activities that I have invested my time in. Now, I don't swim very much because I don't have access to a swimming pool on the regular, but from time to time I get in the pool and I try to swim a couple of laps and it is exhausting. And in the water, I get tired, man. Because that is not a movement. That's not an experience my body is well adapted to yet. Because I haven't put in the time. But I can get in the ring and I can box 15 rounds. No problem. As far as energy expenditure, boom, fine. No big deal. As far as cardio, no big deal. But a minute in the water... Doing the front crawl. Ah. Oh, man. That's tough. That's rough. And why is that? Because it's not something that I do. It's not something I've invested my time in, and it's not something my body has adapted to. Does that mean my cardio is no good? Nah. You asked about biking. Is biking better than running? Once again, biking is better for biking. I ride my bike every day, multiple times a day, because that's my mode of transportation. It's how I get to work. It's how I get home. It's how I go places. I haven't used a car for over 12 years. That might shock some of you who live in societies where... It seems like you need a car to get places. I haven't driven a car in over 12 years. I walk, I bike, I use public transportation. Because I live in a city where public transportation is available and it's really, really, really good here. I've lived in, lived in places with really, really bad public transportation. It's no good, man. And places where things are so far spread apart, where biking, man, that's like a three-day excursion just to get to work if you, if you take a bike, man. But, man, city planning in Shanghai is pretty good, man. It's pretty good. And so you can bike wherever you need, you need to go. You can take public, public transit wherever you need to go. You can walk almost everywhere you need to go. It's pretty cool. Wish everybody, I wish everywhere in the world was like that. But, I've rambled on a while. Let's cut to the chase. Is biking better than running for combat sports? No, and no. Let's quote uh, Marcelo Garcia. I think he was the one who when asked, What do you do... What do you do for cardio, man, for jiu-jitsu? How do you improve your cardio for jiu-jitsu? And his answer was, I do more jiu-jitsu. Ponder the wisdom of that story for a moment. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.